Zone 3 Podcast. I am with my BFF, Katie, and she's actually going to demonstrate using the Chea Wands, because we're here at the Chea booth, and of course, we've worked with the Chea Wands at our facility for so long, so we thought it was a great opportunity to kind of get in here and kind of play with these things a little bit, learn a little bit more about what we can do, and just have Katie do some demonstrations. So, Katie, uh, I guess you want to talk about the PD240CH first? Yes. Hi, I'm Katie. I am actually the MRSO at my facility, so we actually use these hands-on a lot. Okay. This is the only metal detector that can detect metal and then instantly identify if it's ferrous or non-ferrous. Um, there's a couple different options that we have here um, on the remote. When you power it on, you can either have the remote in a vibrate mode or you can have it with the sound on. So for this demonstration, I'll show you with the sound on. Ooh. There's a couple different things. Uh, this is how we can tell if it's metal in general. So, so that's the full body? This is the full body picture that'll show if it's any type of metal. Nice. So I'm going to have Reggie hang on to these. In I got this, a metal plate in my head. In this uh, little thing here, there's a BB. So you could say it's like shrapnel from a gunshot wound, for example. In this one, there's a titanium plate. So this is your hip replacement, for example. So with my all metal setting, I can go over the BB and it does go off for that. With the hip here, also goes off. So now if I change the setting, there's two others here. These will be the two ferrous modes. This is a broad spectrum ferrous, and this is a more increased strength ferrous. Um, so I'm gonna go over the BB. It does go off. I'm going over the titanium hip it's okay to scan. So those are kind of the different settings that are available. What type of scenarios do you, we use that at work? Um, so we'll use these on every patient that comes in to have a scan. So we'll actually scan the patient. Um, the key is to kind of go slowly. We'll go over the body, scan their whole body. We found metal here. Reggie's wearing jeans that have a metal snap and so forth on them. And then we'll slowly go around them and just show he has a wallet in his pocket too that also sets off the right. detector. So um, the key is to kind of move slowly. The vibration mode is really great, especially if you're getting close to their head or something like that, right. um, so that you're not kind of blaring the sound in their ear. Um, but that's the main functionality with this. I feel like it's, it's really, comes really in handy when you're constantly having ancillary staff come through the department, right? So you have anesthesia coming through, you have rat nurses coming through, right? They're giving meds, things like that. It's so nice to be able to double check what they have. And sometimes Absolutely. it might be a clip on their bra, it might be a bobby pin, you know, it might be something that they can technically kind of keep on but it's good to be able to identify if it's ferrous or not, right? Or where it's located. Right. So we, we tend to focus kind of around the waistband where somebody would cape, page, ah, clip a pager or oh, a pocket where yeah. they would keep a phone kind of in their pants, something like that. Um, so kind of focusing the wand on those key areas. For sure. Now, I'm a big fan of the Z4, so please break down the Z4 for us. So the Z4 is green in color. This is the only one that can actually go into zone four. Um, so this can actually go into the scan room. There are different instances where you can use this. One that we use in the facility that I work at, we do a lot of intraoperative MRI. Yes. So instead of going, um, we, we have conjoined rooms for the scan room to the operating room. So we can actually move with this through the scan room into the operating room where with any other type of device, you would not be able to do that. Right. So it's it, the only difference here is that this has um, a non-rechargeable battery. Um, it's specific batteries to this device. Uh, this only has a sound mode on it. So it's, imp it's important with this one that the sound stays on so that when you're scanning someone, you can audibly hear if there's something that um, right. isn't safe to go into the scanner. Otherwise, the rest of the controls are the same. Right. And so this one's non-rechargeable, this one is rechargeable. Do you know how long that battery life is? Yeah, this battery life is 18 hours off the charger. Um, so there's just rechargeable batteries in here. And then when you're done using it, you can just put it back on the charger and it will continue to keep a charge. Nice. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so one technology, making our job easier. Absolutely. They just keep coming out with better and better stuff. I think the Z4 is their newest addition to their product lines, but they also have FMDs. So we do have, just you can kind of see a little picture of FMD back there. Um, works like your traditional FMD. 
where you have the lighting system. I don't know if Robert can follow me, but they also have FMDs big, right? Lighting system. And then the best thing that I like about this FMD is depending on where you have the metal, the lights will go off at that location. So big deal there, right? Because half the time you're searching for, I, I don't know, I don't know what I have on me. I swear I took everything out of my pocket. Well, it's saying it's in your shoe, <laughs> you know? So uh, FMDs too. So definitely check out their website. They have a catalog full of products. Make sure you check out the Tech Gate, Aegis Tech Gate. That is by far one of the best products that we work with. Every patient always compliments us on that. It helps us with our last stop final check. Um, and we just love those guys too. They just a great, great team there, always innovating, always looking for ways to make our job easier. So absolutely. Thanks for tuning in to Zone Three. We're at the Shea booth, and you got I got the interview, Katie. We're out. We're out.